it's tour time. Here's a front door. Pretend you just walked through it and check out that buffet. I think the buffet and the art is new in this video. And then if we sort of do a little twirly twirly action, you'll see the new chairs, which are just as exciting on video as they are in pictures. Come on over and sit down. Um, the funny thing is we find Burger in them and we have no idea how he gets into them, but he just like somehow climbs into them and sits there. Um, anyway, the, the view from here is to your left is the kitchen, and that's the opening that we made. It used to be closed off and the kitchen got no light. But now, since the picture window in here is the same exact size as this opening, the light goes right through into the kitchen. So, um, and the opening right straight ahead is to the office. We also love the lower chairs because you could see into the office and everything feels really nice and open. So let's mosey into the office. The new thing in here is the round rug. I don't think you guys have seen that on video. And it usually has a toddler and a basket of toys and a whole bunch of stuff on it, but you know, we clean for you. Um, there's the homemade art, the chairs we painted and upholstered, the desk that we built with um, framing lumber and $1 secondhand cabinets. We stenciled the walls in here. What else did we do? And we painted under the chair rail a darker color. Here's the view out to the dining room, just to sort of orient you from the other direction. It's so nice to have that buffet and the art out there because it used to just be a blank wall, so that's kind of an update. And then if you go through this doorway, that's the kitchen, but to the right is the laundry room. So we have the cute little clothespin chandelier in here, the cheerful color, we've got some family pictures on the wall. The coat hooks are so cute, they have Clara's little sweaters on them. And these are actually um, shoe storage bins. So those are functional, they're from Ikea. Uh, if we head back out, you can look, oh here's another view of the office. So you can see things from, this is the doorway that leads into the office from the kitchen. And um, if we sort of twirl around again, you can see the kitchen from, this is how we sort of enter the house, into this laundry room and then we walk into the kitchen. And um, we've got the new stools, the wood mirror, and the new basket light. Those are sort of the most recent additions in here. And the new rug. We've got the same scallop rug in both areas. They sort of define the one by the fireplace is the chill out zone and the area, the cooking area in the kitchen. And um, just to orient you some more, this is the opening to the dining room from the kitchen. And if we look straight ahead, that's the frame hallway. That's sort of the heart of our house, we like to say. It literally is almost in the very middle of it and it has all of our family pictures and mementos, so there's that aw shucks connection to it. And then to the right, we have the doorway to the living room. Um, that fireplace you just saw, we love to double side it so that it goes into the living room one day. But um, not much looks different from this view of the living room, although we're dying to get or make a new media cabinet because this one is very piddly and tiny. And um, But if you go through the living room and look to your right, you can see the patio through this big slider. So we have been using that a ton in the spring and summer months just to for Clara to use chalk and for Burger to run around and it's a fun place to entertain. So, and then if we spin around, the big difference in the living room is that this, the wall of Clara, as we've dubbed it, because we've um, added the dollhouse we made, the little desk that we built her with her little chairs, that's where she does all her drawing and stickers and all that. And even the little swivel egg chair on the left is something that she and Burger both get a lot of use out of. Oh, and look at Burger! Speaking of Burger, he's quite relaxed during this video tour. He's taking a day off, and every other day of the month. Oh, and see this little door on the left? Well, we can't show it to you. That is a slider that leads out to the sunroom, but it's full of secret book projects, and if we showed you, we'd have to kill you. So those will be gone in the fall when we auction them off for charity, and then we get to redo the sunroom, so that will be fun. And straight ahead, now we're looking at the new deck, which we have been using the heck out of. Um, it's so much fun. You can see Clara's high chairs out there because we try to eat little breakfast and lunch out there. And we even added a little baby gate at the end of the steps to keep her and Burger in here. Um, sometimes Burger just goes out and hangs out there. Sometimes me and Clara go out there and hang out. It's just a really great little outdoor room that we added. And it's nice because it's right off of the kitchen and the living room. So we get a lot of use out of it. So to our right, we have the bedroom. A lot has changed in here since the last video because we've moved the placement of the bed, painted the walls a darker color, brought in different furnishings, moved everything around, and even made the headboard. So, 
I guess one view that's somewhat similar to what you guys are used to is the one looking into the sink nook because we have um, the mirror above the sink and some things on either side of it. The chair has always sort of been in the corner. It was a different chair, but th this layout hasn't changed very much. And um, if you walk towards the sink nook, to the right is a door to the bathroom. And that um, is a room we did many updates to. We weren't ready to gut it. Oh, and I'm so embarrassed that the toilet seat is up. Please forgive me. Um, but things like, you know, adding a new border tile, painting the walls dark, adding that cute little blue glass light, crossing the window, changing out the toilet. We did little updates in there. And um, to the left of the sink nook is the closet where we did a little bin makeover. Now, even though John throws everything into the bins, I don't see the piles, which is very nice because it's visible from my side of the bed. So that is the bedroom. Now we're going to back it up so you don't see this wall across from the bed because that also has secret book projects on it. Okay, and now we're going to walk down the frame hallway and that um, leads to the living room on the left. Then if you continue walking, it leads to the kitchen. And if you look in the kitchen from this view, you can see the um, shelves we've added. The open shelving has been really awesome for unloading the dishwasher and grabbing things. That's all the plates we own. We don't have extra stash somewhere. It's very liberating to just have a bunch of white bowls and mugs and plates. Um, you can also see that we took the tile all the way to the ceiling and even did some DIY art, which is over the stove. So now, um, back in the frame hallway, there's a front door, which you obviously see right in front of you. And then to your right is the hallway that leads to the rest of the bedrooms but ours. And we have a little hall back down here. So on the right is the hall bathroom. We haven't done much in here, but we have big plans. That window looks out onto the deck, so we at least have to frost that or do something with it. But we love to do things with the walls and the mirror and the vanity and all that stuff. So we have, we got a list, yo. And now, continuing down the hall, this is the guest room. The walls are sort of a dark teal color, and we added a lot of bright pops of yellow in the rug and the pillows and other sort of fun colors like the pinks and the greens and the blues, just because we didn't want the dark walls to be depressing for our guests. And um, it's a very unfinished room though. We have a lot of walls that are bare and empty. We have this one with the um, dresser on it with nothing. The wall with the two chairs on it has nothing. Basically, this is a very unfinished room, but it works for guests, so we're thankful for that. One of the fun things is that out the window, you can see the deck now. And the deck, sort of by accident, is decorated in very similar colors. So the greens and blues and yellows outside are sort of mimicked in this room, so we love the idea of this cheerful little guest room leading out to this cheerful little deck. And then we have a somewhat cheerful half bathroom, or I guess it's a full bathroom, it's just tiny. And um, this is obviously highly unfinished as demonstrated by the bare walls and the lack of sort of anything going on that's exciting. Check out the cup of toothpaste on the sink. So yeah, we have a lot to do in here. but. Um, it's a sweet little room. We think the tile is kind of charming, so it has potential. So now when we leave this room and go out into the hallway, you can um, have fun staring at a doorway. <laughs> the doorway is to the always um, closed playroom because it's not really a playroom. There's no playing going on. It is full of stuff. And the stuff is a lot of secret book projects and yard sale stuff and just generally things we have to take care of. So after the book auction, we will get rid of a lot of that stuff and then maybe we can tackle it and we'd love for that to be Clara's big girl room someday so that should be fun and then this is the door to Clara's bedroom which we think will always remain a nursery so if you we have this cute art on the outside of the wall which I think is like look you're about to go into a kids room warning and then you're in a kids room which is kind of fun and um, let's see what's going on in here we have lots of stuff from the first house that we did and moved like the painted mirror and the wall of frames and the little woven chair. I made the curtains with hem tape. And then if you look on this um, side, there's the little closet, which is cool in this room because it's much bigger than her last one. So I made that bean bag and stamped the inside so she can actually go in there and read and hang out. And um, the other DIY things in here are like the shelves that John made for her, the um, mobiles that I made, and even that dresser was something we stained. and. Um, painted ourselves, that was $20 from Craigslist. And the play kitchen is one of my favorite things. 
Santa made that for Christmas, so we can't take any of the credit on that. Okay, so now we're going to walk back down the hallway, and you can see how the frame wall is sort of right ahead of us. We love that it's visible from so many areas and so many walls. The whole hallway is basically wallpapered in frames, so you get to see them from a bunch of places. And now we're back at the front door. So thanks for coming on the tour, guys. True to form, I'm sick again for this tour, except I'm getting over a stomach bug. I think the last time it was some sort of flu and I had a scratchy voice. So anyway, all you need is love.